Did some really good things, especially our bigs. Um, but obviously, you know, we had the size advantage, we had the strength advantage inside, but 88 paint points is still really good. I thought we ran the floor very well. Um, Hannah obviously had a great game with 27 points, 10 rebounds. You know, Sharon had a great game. Um, you know, she had nine rebounds with her 14 points too. I love the 30 assists on five turnovers, you know. I mean, yes, we want the high assists, but we also had low turnovers, so that was really good. But, um, you know, now it's getting ready for the, the opener. This was it, so now it's getting ready for the real thing. I know you probably expected the game to go similar to this, but what do you, what do you, it's not just about winning, it's about, you know, the other things. What kind of things were you looking for today, and did you think you were successful in those things? Yeah, I mean, I thought our rebound, I thought we rebounded really well. Uh, again, I thought we ran the floor pretty well. Um, you know, it's just like, you don't know how people are going to respond inside when the lights come on. And, you know, you see them in practice every day, but how are they going to respond to a game situation? And so I think every, again, the question was, you know, what do we need about center? And I think you see we've got three really good options at center. Hannah, are you happier about your second collegiate three or your four for five at the line? Oh, that's a great question. Probably the four for five. <laughs> uh, I struggled with that a lot last year. So um, it's good to start off. Uh, 80%. And she worked really hard at it, too. Eddie, what do you know about people when Caitlin was carrying the ball back? You remember the first half, like the little no oh. air in it? That seemed like a, not, kind of an interesting kind of thing. It looked like she was mad and then squeezing it. It just seemed like an odd thing at that point. You're asking about Caitlin. A lot of things are odd when it comes to <laughs> Caitlin. So, I mean, she thought it was a little flat, and, uh, you know, it probably was. <laughs> is AJ doing okay? Saw her in the booth. AJ's in a boot, and it was like a non-contact injury with her foot, so she'll be back though. Okay. Nothing long term. Sharon, I know these last couple of years have been grueling and, and trying in a lot of ways, but just how much more comfortable do you feel right now than even last year? Um, and just how much do you kind of feel like this is a, a point where you can make a difference and and get in there and. You know, be successful. Right, yeah. I'm ready to do whatever the team needs me to do, but I think a lot of that more feeling more comfortable and confidence comes from my teammates. Oh, they've been encouraging me for the past two years since I've been back. And it is post surgeries two years now and that just my body feels a lot better and it's more comfortable with it. So I yeah. And did you see that pass by her? Woo. I was going to say, did you surprise yourself on that pass? Because it looked like you and Molly were just laughing your butts off right back on defense. Did you surprise yourself with that? Kind of, I don't know. I like making those passes, but sometimes, most of the times it's a turn turnover, so no. this one just happened to no. no, I like, I, that's one of my favorite things is to try to get my teammates a fun pass like that. Lisa, Kylie gets in there, hits a couple threes. I know she's had a long kind of process. What was that moment for you as a coach, knowing what she's kind of been through and just trying to get back acclimated with things? Yeah, I mean, anytime a player's been out, you know, with that type of a knee surgery, you know, Sharon, Kylie, and they come back and do well, you're just so happy for them. And especially Kylie, since, you know, she did transfer from Iowa State and played here a year and then was out a year. I'm just really glad to see her, you know, having success. Lisa, the team, in terms of depth, has really increased going into this season. Um, how does that make you feel as you approach the opener when you see Sharon have a great game like she did today, as well as some Sid, considerable great Kylie, performances like Kylie, Kylie and Sid Molly. and Molly? I mean, we do. We, I feel like we've got a lot of depth right now. It, it's so important to have that depth. Um, you know, as you go through, a, I mean, it's a grind. The season is so long and so, you know, difficult that you, you know, like there's times in, uh, November, we almost played four games in a week, so we have to have that kind of depth. And I saw your parents <clears throat> doing a lot of celebrating out there in the stands. Do you ever get get a peek over to them and see kind of what they're doing as they celebrate some of your baskets? Um, I can always hear my mom. Like, <laughs> she's, she's really loud and she really stands out. Um, I guess I'm used to her voice, but I'm sure everyone else can hear her too. Um, she likes to wait till it's absolutely silent. And then she'll yell something at me, so she knows I can hear it. Um, <laughs> um, but I just love that um, they love to be here and they love to support all of us. Lisa, you talked about your rotation. You had six bench players enter the game in the first quarter. Once the Big Ten season starts, are you still thinking 11 players, or how do you get that into a workable situation yeah I mean I wouldn't even be able to make that prediction right now because you know usually you're looking at eight or nine deep is really pretty good you know so 11 is probably a lot so if we have 11 contributing we would love to do that um, but you know I mean who knows I, I really don't know at this point Hannah what's been the biggest difference for you 
between starting up this year versus last year? Like, just where are you more comfortable? Just kind of what's your mindset and just what's the biggest difference for you right now? Um, I think just being more confident on the floor, um, knowing that I can drive to the basket, knowing I can post up and get the ball um, and score. Um, and I think my teammates have helped me a lot um, building that confidence. So I'm happy that I'm here with them. How much does